There's data showing that people who support the no side will avoid voting altogether. How concerned are you about low voter turnout? Well, look, we're encouraging all Australians to participate because um, the Constitution belongs to each and every Australian. As part of the No campaign, uh, we, I've been getting out there, Warren's been getting out there, we've been before audiences right across the country, uh, and the audiences that have turned up to our events have been huge. So it's demonstrated to us that there has been uh, a great turnout for those who want to maintain equality in this country and we're encouraging those people to ensure that they're having the conversations with their family members that they that they are informed uh, and that they are participating in this very important decision to amend our constitution uh, and we'll continue to do do so um, up until referendum day you're in hobart right now why are you seeing tasmania as an important place to campaign well, uh, as part of our strategy with the No campaign, we've been focusing on the battleground states that we know, um, uh, uh, you know, are likely to be able to be swayed to provide a no vote uh, toward the referendum. And Tasmania is, is one of those states. Uh, and as recent polling suggests, Tasmania is now trending toward the no. So we're very pleased with that because we know that our hard work has been paying off the fact that also Australians are becoming more informed with this debate. And that's, the, that's I think, a really important point, is that when Australians uh, do some research and look further into this and don't just take the Prime Minister's uh, words on face value, they are more likely actually to um, turn their votes to no.